A devastating Christmas night in Southwest Houston leaves three young children without their parents. A husband and wife killed in a murder-suicide. Yeah, domestic violence appears to be the clear culprit here. Police say this happened at a home on Grisilla Drive near South Post Oak Road. KPRC2 investigator Joel Eisenbaum has also learned that the female victim had talked to police about her marriage recently. This is clearly domestic violence at its worst. And what we found as we were studying this case today is that there was a sign. Just 11 days ago, the female victim in this case talked to police. She didn't allege that there was any physical violence inside the home, but she certainly noted there was a problem with her marriage. When we come in here, the police is every, every here. They were all over the place? Neighbors didn't seem to know. But less than two weeks before the Christmas night murder-suicide inside the Southwest Houston home, there was a sign trouble was brewing between 34-year-old Fanny Uresti and her 43-year-old husband, Roberto Hernandez, now both dead. Part of my job when something like this happens is getting in touch with police and running what's called calls for service. How often have police been out here? Well, in the last six months, they haven't been out here at all. But something interesting happened back on December 14th. That's when the 34-year-old female victim, mom, walked into a police station and told an HPD officer that she thought that her husband had been tracking her and knew everywhere that she'd been. She also told that officer that she was preparing to file for divorce. Police provided her with a list of domestic violence resources in turn, and that was the end of it until 11 days later. This is an unthinkable tragedy to think that a set of parents are now gone and deceased and that their children are left without parents on Christmas night. The kids, six, nine, and 14 years old, all girls, were home at the time, police say. They heard the fighting and they heard the gunshots. The children were not hurt. They're now staying with family, but their fates long-term still aren't clear but we do know those kids will now navigate their lives without their parents. At KPRC2, we have spent a lot of time studying the important issue of domestic violence. And on our website, click2houston.com, we've assembled a collection of resources for both victims and abusers. You can find it at click2houston.com slash breaking free. In Southwest Houston, Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC2 News.